Kev, what's up? I'm the dev that made Missing Hiker and I released a new short game called Entity Room. Would love to see you play it and get scared. Smiley face. All right, guys, so this is Entity Room. This is the first game we're gonna play. I'm gonna play two games today where I have a job. Your job is to ensure the entity is being fed every day and the rooms are cleaned afterwards. So that's our job in Entity Room. And then our next game is Peter's House. And I'll explain that when we get there. My two jobs today, let's do this. And we're gonna just jump right into it, Entity Room. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button right now, y'all. Show me, show me some love. <laughs> and subscribe for more gameplays just like this. February 18th, 1987. First day at the new section. I hope everything goes well. Right, 1987, two years before your boy was born. Yeah. First day at the new section. So we gotta make sure we do our job correctly so we can keep our job. Your boy is not trying to, not trying to get fired. I need this money. I got rent to pay. I got bills to pay. I got a baby mama that be asking me for money. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got to I got to I got to make sure I'm making some money. Oh. Okay. Door slammed and we can't open it back up. Nice. <laughs> Section 14. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, so is this my office? Huh. Use computer. Okay, so we got email, CCTV, and then we have doors. Let's look at CCTV, room one, room two, room three. Room one, toggle night vision. All right, we got some guy just banging his head against the wall. I don't know if that's a entity or a human being. You know what? That may be a human being that gets fed to the entity. So we're sacrificing human beings in here? Like, seriously? All right, room two. Another human being laying down, taking a little nap before he becomes a meal. And then we got room three right here. Toggle vision, this dude's just, yeah. He knows it's over for him. All right, operator room is where I'm at. There's the hallway, entity room, error. So we, so we just can't peek in on the entity, huh? Gotcha. All right, so this is the door controls. So this is how we open and close the doors. And to be able to feed the entity, I would assume. Email from Earth and from Matt. We got description and onboarding. So let's look at the description. This is the description of the entity. Highly dangerous of terrestrial origin. Bipedal, uncanny, human-like appearance. Skin does not reflect light. Glowing red eyes, fam. Body mass consists mostly of human meat. Okay. Develops more human-like appearance over time. Doesn't kill prey before eating. So it just hops on them and eats them. It don't even kill them. Like what? Extremely agile and can jump far distances. So these are two incidents that happened in 84 and 86. This was last year. This was three years ago. So three years ago was a total power failure resulting in E14 escaping the room and killing the operator. Yo, I'm the operator right now. Fam, I know this happened three years ago, but for real? And then 8-17-1986 is redacted. Disclaimer, by partaking in this operation, you agree that the entity research facility, also known as ERF, will not be held responsible for any form of physical harm. So we're pretty much signing our life away. Gotcha. Okay, this is Matt with onboarding. Matt says, hello, my name is Matt. I was assigned to take care of onboarding you. So your job is actually pretty easy. The entity needs to be fed once a day with exactly one prisoner. Okay, so we're feeding the entity prisoners. Gotcha. So maybe these prisoners were doing life in prison or something, and this is their punishment. Here, entity, eat them. To do that, just open the door R1 in through your computer. After the entity is eaten, the respective room needs to be cleaned. Open the door R1 out through your computer. You'll need a strong stomach, but get used to it. First throw body parts, if there are any left, into the container, clean the blood with the mop. Best regards, Matt. Okay, time to feed the entity, right? Let's go here, room one. Okay, what we're gonna do is...
We're gonna do R1N. We just opened the door, the entity. I heard that, I heard screaming. Okay, and now the door shut. So it only takes, obviously, the entity a few seconds here to dismantle a body. Oh, wait, 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 we gotta open the door. There we go, doors. Uh, okay, let's go clean this up. Remember, we need this job. Make sure y'all got y'all, you know, don't don't be too grossed out. Okay. Ugh. Ugh, they want me to pick this up. Seriously? Okay, uh, throw it in container. Ugh. God, the entity, how disgusting. Then I got part of a, look like an arm or, no, 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 that's a leg. Okay, let's mop this up. Ugh. I mean, I guess we'll do anything for some money. I got real life problems, y'all. Like, <laughs> for real, like, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got to make some money, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Entity, I got you, all right? I'm about to feed you another human. Okay, just don't eat me. All right, let's go close this. Okay, I think we're doing pretty good so far. Doors, we're gonna close that one. Nice, looks like we got a new email from Matt, good job. Hey, good job, looks like you're a natural, wink. <laughs> have you checked the CCTV? Nowadays they even have, yeah, we, we know, it's night vision mode. Pretty heckin' cool if you ask me. Oh, by the way, in case you were wondering, while the entity is eating, the CCTV is taken offline. We don't want our operators to be disturbed. Anyway, you're done for the day, you can go to sleep already if you want. Tomorrow will be pretty similar. Feed the entity, clean the room, rinse and repeat. Kind regards, Matt. All right, so that, that's pretty easy. I mean, this is a pretty easy way of making money. Just feed the entity prisoners and then we're off for today, for sure. All right, Um, so am I Am I staying here tonight or? Oh, I am. Okay, I'm going to sleep. Got it. Alarm is going off. Uh, just trying to check what time it is. We got another email, power failure. Come on, fam. Come on, fam. Good morning, you probably saw the lights aren't working. Don't worry, it's basic maintenance on one of our electricity generators. It's just the lights. Everything else works fine. Just use your flashlight. <laughs> okay. Today will be pretty similar to yesterday. Press the R2N button to open the door so the entity can have a feast with the prisoner in room two. The entity wants breakfast. Don't let it wait. Wink. P.S. Don't forget to clean the room afterwards. Got it. Okay. So we're going R2N right there. R2N. Let's open the door. The entity's going to eat him and we can't watch it while the entity's eating okay when that door shuts all right we're gonna do r2 out and we got to go clean it flashlight nothing out of the ordinary right now okay let's just go. oh entity i already told you you ain't gonna be eating me. I got freaking prisoners for you. Sheesh. Oh, that scared the heck out of me. All right, we got a mop. Let's make sure there's no more body parts. Got it. Mopping it up. Whew. I just feel like this is gonna get more and more intense. All right, let's go ahead and put the mop up. We're gonna close that. Got it, doors. Close R2. 
and another email great work so this guy is like where is he looking in at he's looking in on us as soon as we do something he's emailing us right away so there's a camera hmm huh so is he trying to make us one of the entity's meals is that where we're going with this hey good job again dude you're really a natural. I know hearing those screams can have a negative effect on your psyche, but trust me, those people we're feeding the entity are scum. They did unspeakable, highly immoral things to other people. They should be happy that they're allowed to contribute to this experiment. We sometimes jokingly call them organ donors. <laughs> Wink. Anyway, our research on Entity 014 could lead to breakthroughs, not just for military, but also medical purposes. Always keep that in mind when you're doing your work. P.S. You're done for the day, Matt. God, this is the most, this is the easiest job I've ever gotten. All right, I'm going to sleep. Oh. What doors were those? Huh. Oh, you know what? I believe the entity opened the door inside of here. So the door that leads to its room, it broke through. So if I open this one, the entity's gonna come out. I know exactly what it is. And I don't think there's no way of stopping it. All right, email Matt, day three. Day three, not that exciting now, is it? Usually that's the point where your work is becoming a boring routine, wink. <laughs> anyway, you probably know what to do. Feed the entity, clean the room, take a shiznit, bust a nizzut, go to sleep. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> it's important to have a sense of humor working in an environment like this. This dude has a pretty sick sense of humor, though. Uh, anyway, tomorrow a new batch of prisoners will arrive. Fresh meat. Wink. <laughs> don't worry, they're handcuffed and our guards will bring them into their rooms. Just make sure those rooms are clean. We don't want them to be uncomfortable. <laughs> <sighs> this guy is sick. P.S. The entity camera works again. Oh. Okay. Entity camera. Whoa! The entity was staring right into the freaking camera, and now it doesn't work anymore. Seriously? Okay. Uh. Well. Room three. Wait, this door isn't open, though, in room three. So what door opened up? Room still closed there. Room one. Huh. Interesting. All right. So we're going to have to open up room three. There we go. Entities going in. Eating that prisoner. Closed. Now we're going. No emails. Got it. Okay. No sign of the entity. Let's go ahead and clean this up. Clean these body parts up. Ugh. <laughs> Somebody's freaking the bottom of their leg and their foot. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, we got brains right here. All right, let's. Oh, the head. Oh, shoot. Okay, I should remove the body parts first. Oh, I didn't even see the head down there. Oh, entity. You nasty, nasty entity. Ugh. Ah, this is disgusting. Okay. Right, that's clean. We're good. Y'all see, I'm looking around everywhere. I'm kind of freaking out. All right, let's close the door here. Should be another email. No. No email. Usually when I when I do that. Wait. Where'd this room come from? Was this room already here? Room one. 
two. Room three. Entity room, can't look in. Where did that room come from? Huh. Oh my gosh. Wait, is he gonna, he's not gonna bust through here, right? Okay, we fed him. We're just gonna go to sleep. Okay, time to get up. Email. Matt, read this in caps. They want to get rid of you. Hide. Oh! You were fed to the entity. What? That was it? Who wanted to get rid of me and why were we fed to the entity? Huh? Okay, you got a jump scare out of me for sure. That was actually a pretty interesting game, like a SCP type of game. I think that was the ending though. Let me let me make sure. <laughs> okay, yes, that was definitely the ending. So I was fed to the freaking entity. I don't know why the whole time I thought this door was gonna open up. Oh, oh, you know what? It probably did. When I looked up, the entity probably came out of there. The entity must have broke through the door that was behind here. Remember where we saw the door being broken through? It has to be the door behind here. So the entity was waiting the whole time behind this door. Huh, interesting. Okay, well that was pretty fun. All right guys, so some of the indie games are short. They're amazing, but, but a little short. So I wanna throw in a game called Peter's House. So our first job on the first game was to make sure that the entity was fed. And on Peter's house, we're helping a guy who's just moving into his new house. We're just helping him move some boxes. You know, I'm just happy I got my own moving company. Steve, phone rings. Hello, this is Steve from Able Movers. How can I help you? Hi, Steve, this is Peter. I need help with moving some boxes tonight. Sure, we can definitely help you with that. Can you give me a bit more information about the job? Obviously, I'm Steve, guys. As you can see, bald head, little little beard, and a smile. You guys see the resemblance? Do you oh see it now? Oh, my God. Peter says, yeah, I have a few boxes that I need to move in my new house. I'll be out tonight, so the door will be unlocked. Okay, so he's just going to leave the door unlocked for us. Gotcha. Look at that smile that Peter has. Ooh, that's a creepy face. I'm just really kind of just looking at it right now. Steve says, okay, I can come over tonight and take care of it. Can you give me your address? Sure, my address is 619 Main Street. Steve, great, I'll take care of everything. Is there anything else you need from us? No, that's all. Thank you so much, Steve. You're welcome, Peter. Have a good night. You too, thanks again. And we are here. Well, time to move some boxes. Okay. This one says it must go in the bedroom. So much freaking doors around here. I mean, which one is which one is the bedroom? That definitely isn't the bedroom. Uh, that's not the bedroom. Should I open this fridge? I should probably hurry with the boxes. I can grab something to drink later. Okay. These rooms are strange because like <laughs> this looks like it's like leading into a closet and it's a freaking fridge in there. All right, bedroom. Not the bedroom. Oh. Why did the TV just randomly cut on? That's strange. That must be the bedroom. Or is that the baby's room? You know what? I'm just going to open up every door. Here's the bedroom. Got it. Oh, that's, that's the dining room. Okay, so... Let's go ahead and get the bedroom. 
All right, where do I where do I put it? Where do I put it? Okay, we just drop it. Got to keep moving boxes. Dining room. I assume this is the dining room. Got it. Okay, this one goes in the bathroom. It's funny that I got two jobs today on these game plays. <laughs> All right, kitchen. Let's go ahead and drop that kind of in the corner over here. The TV cutting on was pretty strange, but we're just gonna ignore it. All right, so much freaking boxes. Living room. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. This, this is not the right. Wait, oh, this is the living room. Gotcha. All right, where do you go? Baby's bedroom. Okay. He has a cross on this wall, cross on this wall. And then when we go in the other room, seems like only the bedrooms. Because look, like the master bedroom, there's a cross back there. Hmm. Okay, this one goes in the bedroom. All right. This one doesn't say where to place. Maybe I should open it. <sighs> okay, let's open it. There is a journal inside and wedding rings. The end of a marriage. I couldn't believe it when she threatened to leave me. After all I've done for her, she had the audacity to suggest that we separate because of a silly little dog. It's not like I did anything bad. Sure, I killed it. <gasps> But it was barking too loudly and it was really starting to piss me off. And it's not like I haven't killed small animals before. Pigeons, rats, what's the difference? But she couldn't handle it this time. She caught me in the act. Holding the dog's ear in my hand like some sort of trophy. That's when she threatened to divorce me. This is dated the 20th of January, 2023. This year, fam. What? So his wife left him. That's why the wedding rings are in here. Because he killed their dog. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should just. Yeah, let's just throw that down there. Hearing footsteps. Hello? Hello? One or more boxes maybe in a row. I can't leave yet. Okay, can't leave yet. All right, let's just let's just focus on the mission at hand here. All right, that's the kitchen. Okay, we got just a few more boxes left. Dining room. Let's put this in the bathroom. All right. This one doesn't say where to place. Let's open this too. There's a journal inside this. The Snoop, part one. I was sure I had covered my tracks, but her sisters were getting suspicious. One of them came to speak to me in person, sensing that something wasn't right. She kept prying and asking too much questions, so I had to take action. I couldn't risk her snooping around, so I had to think fast. I tried to convince her that my wife was away on a trip and wouldn't be back anytime soon, but she wasn't buying it. This is dated the 14th of February, 2023. So this is a day after Valentine's Day. I think he killed his wife. She was divorcing him. Okay. Okay, let's just, um, maybe in the bedroom. See, I shouldn't have freaking opened these boxes. Now I'm in on it. Well, not in on it, but you know what I'm saying? What's up with the lights? Uh, should have just moved the boxes and put them down. Why do I have to be? I'm, I'm that guy. I'm the guy that opens it. <sighs> okay, I got two boxes left. This one goes in the baby's room. All that work made me thirsty. I should get something to drink before I leave. Ah. Uh. 
Okay. Hmm. I bet he won't mind if I take some of this juice. Time to go. So we hit the juice. Why is this closed? This door is locked. Why is the why is the bathroom door locked? It was just open. Somebody's in here, man. Why is that closed? Why are these doors closed? This is locked. This is locked. There was just one box left. Why is there two? <gasps> is this real? Freak. It smells horrible. Is this his wife's like... Did he carve off her face? The Vanishing Act Part 1. It was only a matter of time before someone realized that my wife and her sister were missing. My wife's other sister, the one I had spared, had grown suspicious and went to the police. I knew I had to... This is his wife's sister's face. I knew I had to act fast. I packed my bags and left town, but I knew it wasn't enough. The detectives were coming to look for me, asking questions that I couldn't answer, so I came up with the plan. I knew that I couldn't just disappear and hope for the best. I had to make it seem like I was a victim too, that I had vanished alongside with my wife and her sister. It was a risky move, but I was confident that it would work. Wait, so is this his wife's face or her sister's face or one of her sister's faces? This is dated the 19th of February, 2023. So he left town because everybody was growing suspicious. It was a risky move. Oh, he tried to act like he vanished alongside his wife. I just, oh my gosh. Okay, let's, let's pick this. Can we pick this? We can't pick it up. I don't have a flashlight or anything. Okay. Huh? Okay, phone's ringing. It's like a hallway that led me to nothing. Shoot, the lights are out. I hope my phone's battery didn't die. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, phone battery. We got our flashlight out. Oh my gosh. Cross is upside down. What the heck? What the heck is happening, man? The furniture. Oh! Okay, furniture's just turned upside down. Bathroom opens up now. I don't know why I flushed the toilet or if I flushed it or something else flushed it but hey it's flushed um okay there was not a door right there in the baby's room it's freaking stupid tv cut on again stop already please um I heard that creak. I heard the creak. Oh, so this is what, like a whole nother side of the house or something? Like something hidden? Hello, what do you want from me? Your job was just to move the damn boxes, not to open them. Oh, hey, hey, what's up? What's up, my man? Oh! He shot me. Peter shot me. That little jerk. I became one of his victims. So he keeps moving around to not be caught by the police for killing his wife and possibly her sisters as well. And I opened the boxes because I'm stupid. And I do things like that, and he killed me. So now he's just gonna keep 
moving around or killing people, whoever finds out what he's done. Wow. That was the two jobs that I had today. Entity room and Peter's house. If y'all enjoyed my work for today, can I get paid with a thumbs up? I mean, come on. <laughs> Subscribe for more gameplays just like this. Let me know in the comment how y'all feel about these two games. This is crazy. I love y'all and I'll see you guys in the next video.